Hey, what is up, guys? It's Rafael here, your seven figure e commerce coach. And today we're going to touch the topic of how to test products on Facebook ads. This is, you know, this is one of the questions that I get literally every day. And this video has been put off for a while. So I finally made it how to test products with Facebook ads for e commerce, Shopify. We've been making like 3K, 4K days, even 5K days the past couple of days in this week. So I absolutely want to tell you the strategy behind this and three ways that you can test even with a low budget high budget, medium budget, however you are in your journey. Now, before we go into my computer, I do want to invite you to my free, absolutely free training, how to combine Facebook ads, Google ads, and Instagram ads. It's the one in the first second in the description to make $10 for every dollar that you sell. This is a free, absolutely free training, and then you can schedule a call one-on-one -on -one with me so we can discover the strategy that's best for you. Now, now that that's done, click the first second in the description for that training. Let's go to my computer and find out. All right, so I know we're here on my computer. Now you can see the three different methods. Low budget testing, which I call sharp testing technique. The CBO technique, which I call the blitz. And then the high budget testing, which I call the infantry, right? It's, it's a lot of people just going towards an attack. So there's the three different techniques. We're gonna talk about the benefits, uh, how, do you, how do you actually test with these three tips, these three methods, and which one is better for you, depending on where you are on your journey. So now to show a little bit of proof that these techniques work, Right here, you can see my ads manager. I don't really share that much of my ads manager, but today I really want to share you because I've been getting a lot of questions like, hey, can you show proof? Do you really do Facebook? Do you re yes, yes, I do Facebook ads every single day. Um, and this is some proof right in the past three days here, 11th of January, 2019. We've gotten consistently, this is about a total of like 100 purchases over these whole campaigns. And then as you can see on the right-hand side, the ROAS, it's absolutely huge, 3.65, 4.98, even 10 on this one, I have five purchases. And this is basically that those strategies that I'm going to talk about, mainly the, uh, mainly, mainly the CBO blitz, blitz technique. So you can see, like, there's definitely proof that I do this on a daily basis. It's not, I'm not lying about these results. I'm not lying about these methods. I do do this on a regular basis. So now let's go into the actual techniques. Okay, so the sharp testing technique. How do you actually do the sharp testing? So you take one product and then we're going to take that product and divide it into two different audiences so two different ad sets so two ad sets and we're going to do one one of those is a completely broad audience so you're only going to check age gender and country let's say you know your product is for women women in the u.s and then from 20 to 50 years of age why do we test broad because we want to see the potential of that product in the long term. If it doesn't do well on broad, it probably won't do well on a bunch of different interests and a bunch of different targeting that you'll test. But now that you do one ad set at broad, you're going to do one ad set extremely narrowed down. So what I mean by extremely narrowed down, in the ads manager, you can choose narrow audience. So what you'll do is you'll pick two very specific interests. Maybe it's brands, maybe it's uh, influencers in your niche, right? I talk about a lot. If you want to learn more about targeting, you can check the videos about targeting here in the channel. But one of those ad sets has to be very broad, and one of those ad sets has to be extremely narrow. So what you can do is do one brand in your niche, and then one, uh, one influencer in your niche. And then narrow those down in the ads manager. Click now audience, and you'll narrow those two down into that audience. It'll be a very targeted small audience. And that's how I basically test when I just have, let's say I'm starting off with like $10. Let's say I want to test five and five, two different ad sets, same product, same campaign. I want to test two different ad sets. One ad set is very open. So just gender, age, and country. And then the other ad set is extremely narrowed down. Um, one brand in your niche, one influencer in your niche, and then narrow it down again, narrow it down again with engaged shoppers. Engaged shoppers. So that's essentially how I test with, with very, very low budgets. So if, if in your journey with Shopify right now or e-commerce, whatever it is, you really don't have that much budget to test, this is how I would go for, for that. Now, what's a CBO blitz technique that produces results like this one, right? Like, 12 purchases for $5 per purchase, and then RAS of four, RAS of 10, RAS of five. Like, this is the technique that I absolutely love, and the technique that just blows everything else past, um, just blows every other technique out of the water. And it's a different type of campaign than the regular where it optimizes by ad set, right? The regular campaign just optimizes by, by ad set. This one optimizes by campaign. How you create it is you click on new campaign, 
you click on conversions and then what you'll do is a budget optimization so you can do optimized budget across ad sets what that'll do is essentially it'll have a budget for the whole campaign so when you create a whole new campaign all you have to do is create budget optimization and as you can see in these you can see that the budget this is per campaign right the campaign the budget is set at the campaign level that's why it's so powerful the budget is set at the campaign level and why i call it blitz is because you're basically letting facebook test for you and do the the measurements on best like what ad set it should send traffic to it based it bases it like on the on the traffic that's coming so if you get one purchase on one ad set and Facebook recognizes that ad set as the best one, it's going to send more traffic and more sales to that ad set. So you, it kind of relieves the tension of testing for you and Facebook does the testing for you, right? So you'll set that up and then you just create the campaign normally. It'll just have a budget of the campaign and then you can't uh, change the ad set budget. Now, what you'll do is you'll divide different interests and different lookalikes, different audiences inside the CBO campaign. So for example, you can do four interests, four different interests in that inside that campaign, inside the CBO campaign, four different interests in four ad sets. And then you can do four lookalikes in four ad sets. So you'll have one campaign that spreads the budget out into four interests and four ad sets and four interests, uh, four lookalikes and four ad sets. So it'll spread the budget out and then it'll choose, okay, this one's the best one. That's what I'm going to send more traffic. And then you'll see that the campaign starts optimizing by itself. It's like, kind of, it's, it's like having a Facebook ads manager, like hiring someone to manage your Facebook ads on Facebook. So it's very, very cool how it does this. And essentially, like that's how it does this. It's $35 a day. And then you divide it, like Facebook basically divides that traffic and those sales based on all the ad sets that you have. So this is essentially like how you do this technique and it's the best one that works. So as soon as you do the smaller one, if you have, you know, a medium budget, let's say like a thousand dollars to test, you can do the CBO and go straight into CBO. And then you can just set a CBO campaign of like a hundred dollars per day per product. And then you'll do a bunch of different audiences inside that CBO. And you don't have to worry like eight, eight ad sets is the maximum I would do, but you can do it from four to eight. And I wouldn't really worry on the different audiences that you're testing in there because Facebook is going to choose the best one for you. So in a day or two, you're going to know, well, no, in a day, in less than a day, if you're doing at a hundred dollars a day, if you're doing like 35, you'll know in like two days. So in a hundred dollars a day, you'll know within one day, which audience is the best. And then what you do is you take that audience and then you test it separately on a brand new campaign. So this is how, like, this is the, the bread and butter of testing. It's you make a campaign budget optimization, and you let it test for itself with all those ad sets inside, but Facebook is doing the testing for you, right? You're just telling Facebook, spend $100 on all these ad sets and choose the best one for me. So that's essentially like the best one that works. And then you test interests, you test um, brands, you test influencers, and then you test everything, demographics, whatever you want to test inside that campaign, one campaign per product. Now the third one, high budget testing, the infantry method, right? A bunch of people just going towards an attack. It basically means creating one campaign, per product and then creating a bunch of ad sets, not CBO, not putting the campaign budget per campaign, uh, not putting the budget per campaign, putting the budget per ad set. So what you'll do is have, let's say 10 ad sets at like $50 per day, or no, I would say like $20 per day. And then testing a bunch of different audiences, like very different audiences in those 10 ad sets. And then you just let them run for two or three days. That's why I only recommend you have a high budget, right? It's like putting these 10 people, right? They're, they're going to attack. You put these 10 people, these 10 ad sets, and you just let them fly. You just let them go for one or two days. And then the best ones are going to start, you know, you're going to start to see the best ones. The ones that get you sales, the ones that get you more checkouts. Um, and that's essentially how this infantry method works. And you'll find two to three ad sets that are top, top, top. And then you scale those. If you want to learn how to scale, you can check out the other videos here on the YouTube channel. But that's essentially the third method that I do. And that's when I have like, okay, let's say I have $2,000 to test a product. Then I do this. I do one campaign and then I put like 20 ad sets inside 20 different audiences. And then I just let them run for 20 to $40 a day. And then they just go and fight and fight and fight. Um, I don't recommend this as if you're a beginner, you're going to lose a lot of money if you, if you do this. But I recommend this if you've already tried the campaign budget optimization, if you already tried the shark testing, then I recommend going there and just doing the infantry just testing a bunch of stuff 
at the same time. But those are the three main ways. And remember, this is like 10 ad sets, 10 different audiences, like 10 to 20 ad sets, 10, 10 to 20 audiences. But you set the ad set budget at, at the ad set level. So you don't set it. So CBO, you set it at the campaign level. On, on uh, infantry method, you set it at the ad set level. So you set it, one second. You set it right here right here at the ad set level. So you would set 20 per day and then you'll have like 10 different ad sets spending 20 a day on 10 different audiences and then just letting them fly. The difference between CBO, between campaign budget optimization and this is that CBO will optimize for you and will spend that budget on the best one. So if you want to, so how, how it differs from CBO by doing the infantry one is that you'll test, you'll test those audiences more thoroughly. Thorough, uh, thorough, thorough. I don't know how to write thorough, but you'll test those audiences very, very thoroughly, and you'll essentially know, okay, this is the best one. With CBO, Facebook does the testing for you. That's why I recommend that if you if you have a bunch of money to just test and find the best audience that works upon like twenty or thirty, then you do the infantry one and you just let those run. With CBO, is more of a, a very controlled testing, letting Facebook test for you, but a very, very controlled testing and like you're making sure that those audiences do perform. If they don't perform, you know, Facebook will kind of de-optimize them and it'll optimize the top ones. So it really just depends on how much money you have. If you have, let's say like $200, $300 to test a product, I would go with CBO. If you have a thousand plus, I would go with high budget. If you have like 50 or less, I would go with the sharp testing, just do two ad sets, $5 a day for that specific product. But yeah, but yeah that's it. That's it for today. If you want to learn more about this, click that First thing in the description and get on a call with me one-on-one -on -one so we can determine the best strategy for you. If you haven't yet joined the Inner Circle program, it's one-on-one -on -one mentoring with me. It's a full course, full mentoring program and access to me one-on-one -on -one so I can teach you exactly the things you need like these and show you more proof into building your seven-figure e-commerce business. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video down below if you liked it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next.